Hi there. So this video is about practicing gratitude with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome. The practice of gratitude is a very powerful strategy to deal with mental health issues. It has really been shown to help with depression and other mental health issues. You might be thinking if you have really bad fibromyalgia at the moment or if you're feeling very low with fatigue, you might be forgiven for thinking how on earth can I feel gratitude when I'm feeling so bad. So what tends to happen when we are feeling ill or in pain is we immediately slip into a negative frame of mind. Whoops. And this negative frame of mind and negative thoughts like, um, oh, you know, I'm never going to get better and here comes the pain again and my life is so awful. These negative thoughts, we can get into a, a very sort of vicious train of thought with them. But these negative thoughts will keep us locked into the, uh, the pain or the fatigue uh, or whatever is going on. So we need to be able to reverse those negative thoughts. And gratitude is a very powerful way of doing this because gratitude, the practice of gratitude, helps us to reverse those feelings of negativity in, and focus our minds on what is good in our lives. And there are good things in our lives. Now, the practice of gratitude isn't going to stop your symptoms overnight, but a regular practice of gratitude, which I'll go into in a minute, can really help to turn around the, um, the, the depression and, that, and stop that negative train of thought. And over time, the change in mental focus can really help your body uh, in the healing process. So let's have a look at some of the things you might want to feel gratitude about. So first of all, some of the most obvious ones are the people in your life. Um, of course, the people who bring you joy, laughter and support are the ones to focus on here and also your pets. For me, uh, my little Tilly is a constant joy in my life and she certainly brings me a lot of laughter. So I have a great deal of gratitude for having this little dog in my life. Another thing is um, all the things in nature. So we can sit on a bench and perhaps just listen to the bird song around us. And be grateful for the things that nature brings us. Of course, there's flowers. Trees. Beautiful views in the countryside, etc. There's so many things to be grateful for in nature. But we can also look at more mundane things, everyday things that we often really take for granted such as the appliances in our kitchen or indoor plumbing. And there's things that bring us joy um, to look at. Uh, for me, I just love having a, a shelf full of books. 
uh, just looking at, at the books in my home just always gives me a, a feeling of, of joy. And of course there's technology. Where would we be without technology? We search, we, our, our computers, our phones, we, they've only been with us a short time, but we now take them so much for granted. And it's, it's really good to sort of refocus and think, wow, what a brilliant thing to have. And of course, you can be grateful for the bed you woke up in this morning, and the bed you're going to sleep in tonight. There are so many things. When you start looking around you, there are so many things to be grateful for. Uh, I woke up yesterday morning to the sound of rain after we've had some really warm weather. And oh my goodness, that was such a lovely sound to wake up to. So start looking out. Start looking around you for the things that you can really be grateful for in your life. And... The more you do this, the more things you will find. And also, the more you do this, the more you will realise, the more you will realise that there are more things right with your life than there are wrong with it. The best way of practising gratitude is to do this regularly. So I would suggest every morning when you wake up, think of at least three things that you can be grateful for, whether it's the bed you've woken up in, the person you've woken up with, um, you know, the things around you, the pictures on the wall, whatever it is. And then again, when you go to bed at night, think of at least three to five things that you can be grateful for that you've seen, heard or experienced throughout your day. If you do this as a regular practice, it will improve your mood. And as your mood improves, this will help your body to heal. So that's it for now. Please subscribe and uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.